you know, everyone wants to know about the Eugene Tay Blanche saga. I debacle. thought they wanted to know about me and John Matham. <laughs> I forget now. I know they do, and this is what I want to know. All these people, which camera am I looking this into? One. All these people with your elephantine memories. Why? Why even remember? It's this country is so exciting, dangerous, it's such a volatile situation, and you still remember that or think that you know about it. It's so, it, it speaks to the, um, it speaks to something that, that I think is wrong in this country, that complete uh, lack of focus on the right things, looking at the background instead of the foreground. Yeah. It's irrelevant, but no, I didn't. Did anybody of course, out there? Of course, Yes. Did anybody out there sleep with him? I'd love to hear from you. Twitter, tell me. There you go. Tell me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know you say that that it, it was all rumors. This mm. this never mm. happened. What's it like going through life, always having people ask you this question? <sighs> oh. It's so boring. It's like <laughs> molasses laced with laudanum. And then somebody said to me at some fundraiser last night, they said, you will always be linked with E.T. And I said, in your head, but not in mine. Yeah. You know, I've just moved right on. And this book, I owe it to people to, to just explain. But if it's all in the book. Yeah. It's all in the book. Yeah. What did you think of him when you first met him? I know you said that he was ended up stalking you. That's how all these rumors. Yes. I think when I initially yeah. met him, he did a really good act. He was like the Richard Burton of Fenter's Door. Mm -hmm. He was really, he was really good at, at portraying a certain thing. But very soon I realized he's as mad as a balloon and he let his people down hugely. Yeah. And then he, d he was like a pig in a safari suit. And I'm sorry, we shouldn't speak ill of the dead. But he will be played by Mel Gibson in the movie, don't you think? Yeah, that's a good match. <laughs> that's a good choice, You've right? thought about this? <laughs> I've who's, thought about it. Who's going to play you? Hmm, who do we think? The, the old, uh, the young one, Kira Knightley. The, oh, that's the, a good yeah, choice. The old one, uh, Maggie Smith. Pity to miss such a good pudding. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, do you regret anything from, from the whole saga do you think do you look back and think i could have done something differently or i could have no, responded no. differently no at that i uh, uh, yes one regret i should have i should not have been so concerned about what people think mm -hmm. thought about me because i realize now it's really irrelevant and what what happened to me was like going into village square and breaking open a pillowcase and feathers went everywhere and i was trying to control where the feathers went it was a kind of vanity, you know, I don't want people to say that because it's not true. Now, I really don't care. I really don't care. Yeah. People know me, they, they know how preposterous the story is. But I, the only thing I would have chosen, I, I, I wish I were walking with the Lord a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Were mm -hmm. you concerned for your safety? Yes, of course. My God, when I told the front wheel came off the launcher and I was, I was being followed and then eventually it turned out that they were going to kill me with a crossbow. That's not very attractive, you know. Skewered on the spotlight is one thing, but then skewered with it anyway. Now this is all mm. outlined. And oh, I this is the big story. This is the funniest thing. Only in America I realized I was on a hit list, but there I am sandwiched between the, oh, failed assassination attempts, and there I am between Hitler and the Pope. Now, did you ever think you would be sandwiched between no, Hitler and the Pope? No, I don't like that. It's not an <laughs> Oreo I like. Now, it's, it's these memories that mm. I think, sitting with your palmies in New York. Right, and I'm amused. Thinking about all of these absurd, right. th crazy things right. that have happened. What's, what's that like? I mean, has it affected your life now? Well, I, it's almost as though I'm watching some rather bad B movie because you can't make this stuff up mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm reading stuff that people write and and then I had this person interviewing me yesterday with the hard-boiled egg look and thinking What's the hard-boiled like, egg look like the John Matham look <laughs> like you know he's looking at me like in, and he swallowed a bee and something and he's saying well do, why should I believe you I think please I'm too old I don't have to prove myself I don't have to deny or not read the book make up your own mind and it's not me. That person was a different me. That's like Steve Martin. It's not me. I'm a new me. 
<laughs> really? um, I'm a different person. I think people underestimate how, and I will use this word, slut shaming, can destroy somebody's life. Um, and it did destroy my life. Did you write the book to, to close the book? Close, Cl close that's a very the good, that's very well, that's um, very well put, clever girl. In, clever, in yeah. your life. Do you want this you, to be over now? Yes, please let this be over. Mm -hmm. Let's do the movie, right? And then let it be over, and then I'll do the next book. But this has now become like, you know, it's over-egging the omelette. There's John Matham said, sorry, John, love you. 27 years later, you're still talking about this? You know, I, I thought a week was a long time in politics. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's lovely that you, this is my audience, right? The young moderns. Don't want the old ones of my age. It's like it, when I'm a waitress, I hate serving the old ones. I don't want to serve the old ones like my age. <laughs> no good. <laughs> no good.